Hi, my name is Stephen Hadhazi and I am here for InsuranceClaim.com. Today we are going to be discussing how hailstones of a one inch diameter and less may be able to damage composition roofing shingles. In past studies, we have utilized a sophisticated hail gun to propel hailstones of varying diameters at composition roof shingles to study the effects on those shingles. If you have seen those videos, then you already know that we were able to show significant damages to shingles with hailstones smaller than one inch in diameter. For today's experiment, we have prepared some one inch diameter ice balls. Before they froze, we took some small wooden toothpicks and stuck them into the molds so that there would be a handle to hold them by. When you were a child, your mom may have done something similar to make you and your friends some homemade popsicles. Once frozen, we took these small one inch diameter hailstones on a stick and use them to tap against brand new composition shingles to see what the effect might be. As you might have already guessed, we witnessed a significant loss in the protective granules that were embedded in the asphalt layer of the shingle. If you have ever spoken to an insurance adjuster about this type of physical damage, then you were likely given the textbook response that asphalt shingle manufacturers fabricate the shingles with extra granules over and above what it would take to protect the shingle and that any granule loss after the hailstorm was likely just those extra granules. While it is true that there are some extra granules adhered to the shingles after the manufacturing process, these extra granules are not the granules that are protecting the asphalt layer of your shingles. In the course of the manufacturing process, during which the granules are embedded into the asphalt portion of the shingle, they apply many more granules than it would take to cover the exposed asphalt. Once the asphalt is completely covered and protected, most of the remaining granules are then removed. But a few remain stuck solely due to the friction with the granules beneath them. These leftover granules are what you see running off of the roof during the first few rains subsequent to a new roof being installed. These leftover granules, however, are not likely to be the granules that you see running off of your roof after a hailstorm, even a hailstorm with small hail. When hail impacts a roof, it can easily dislodge the granules that serve to protect the asphalt from the sun's UV rays and other elements of the weather. As you will see in the video, there is not really a way to have extra protective granules permanently embedded into the asphalt layer of a shingle. The asphalt is the substance that adheres the granules to the shingle and the asphalt is the very same substance that the granules are protecting. So if a granule that is embedded into the asphalt layer were then to be removed, then you would be exposing the asphalt that was under that specific granule to the UV rays of the sun and other elements. A hailstorm with one inch or smaller hail can cause a massive depopulation of the protective granules on even a newer roof. Unfortunately, as it pertains to identifying hail damage, many insurance carriers instruct their adjusters to look only for the sizable circular marks that indicate an impact from large hail. Some carriers even instruct their adjusters that a shingle has not been damaged unless a hailstone completely breaches the backing of a shingle and that granule loss from a hail impact is not really damage. Now, let's take a look at the video.
You can see here that when a granule is removed from the surface of the shingle, it exposes the asphalt beneath it. There is not another layer of granules beneath the first layer. This is the brand new shingle before testing begins. This is what the shingle looks like after being tapped with a one inch diameter ice ball. You will note that the shingle was not tapped hard enough to cause any bruising on the front of the shingle or on the back of the shingle. Yet, significant depopulation of the granules has occurred. This is not pre-loss condition. The shingle is not the same as it was before the hailstorm. The shingle has been negatively affected and the proximate cause of the damage is hail, even if it is just small hail. As you could see from the video, small hail can massively depopulate the granules embedded into the asphalt layer of a shingle. This is damage as it exposes the asphalt layer of the shingle to the sun's UV rays and other elements of the weather. It is no wonder that many shingle manufacturers will void the shingle warranty if it is shown that any hail of any size has impacted their product. We hope that you enjoyed today's experiment and remember, the next time someone tells you that small hail can't damage asphalt composition roofing shingles, you tell them to go to the YouTube channel for insuranceclaim.com and see it for themselves.